event. Welcome to Meet Me at the Corner. I'm here at the Palomar Observatory near San Diego, California. This observatory stands atop Palomar Mountain and is best known for the Hale Telescope, one of the world's largest optical telescopes. Since 1948, Palomar Observatory and its amazing telescope has been used on every clear night of the year. Today we're meeting with Mr. Scott Cardell, who will tell us about the history of the Palomar Observatory and what they do here. Why is the observatory located so far away from the city? Cities tend to be kind of bright at night, and having the telescope and all the other parts of the observatory here away from the city lights gives us much darker views at night. Also, by having the observatory here in the mountains, we get to look through less air and we get a sharper view of the night sky. How is the observatory different from a planetarium? Well, a planetarium is a place where you can go and see a show about the sky. They actually project stars and constellations up onto a dome. Here at an observatory, we don't study fake constellations and fake stars, we study the real ones. We're in a dome too, but the dome is here to protect the telescope. Can you tell me a little bit about the history of the Palomar Observatory? They started building the observatory in the 1930s, and they didn't finish until after World War II. The telescope was first used 60 years ago. And so in the last 60 years, we've been using this telescope and others here to study the night sky, and we've made a lot of impressive discoveries. What different discoveries have you made here at Palomar? We've discovered a lot of things here at Palomar. Some things on the farthest reaches of the universe, they're actually known as quasars. They're some of the brightest and most distant things ever seen. I'd love to study the stars. Is there a telescope that kids could buy? Believe it or not, yes, there is a telescope that's pretty reasonably priced. There's something called a Galileo scope, and it only costs $15. This telescope is better than the one Galileo used, and with it, you too could see the craters on the moon, or the rings of Saturn, or even the moons of Jupiter. It's really pretty neat. Thanks so much for letting me interview you. It's so cool here. Glad you could come. That's it for my corner of the cosmos. See you next time.